Oh, 10 years from now, um, well, we can cure cancer more effectively. And uh, even we cannot cure, we may be able to make a cancer as a chronic disease. So cancer treatment will become the more effective and less toxic. Twenty years ago, that was a dream to sequence the entire genome. But now we have a very advanced tool to analyze our gene, gene genomes very effectively. And the cost is more and more affordable. I think the future is a genetic test, particularly in the cancer area. For example, the immunocheckpoint antibodies, we still do not know which patient uh, can have a benefit and uh, which uh, cannot. So we need to figure out the uh, immuno microenvironment. So we can analyze uh, immune conditions by using uh, also next generation sequences. We need to figure out the uh, T cell receptors or T cell clonalities. Uh, these kind of information should be combined okay, for uh, immunotherapy. I think regulation is very important to ensure the quality of genetic tests. Regarding the cost, uh, definitely now the cost is more, uh, more expensive than affordable. So we need to uh, expand these kind of tests more and more. That makes the cost uh, cheaper. I think in five years from now, probably genetic tests will be the most the frequent way and the most effective way to screen cancers. And uh, I think to provide the effective drug to patient or to avoid the, the dangerous drug to patient, we definitely need to consider the genomic level, the germline genetic analysis, and also somatic mutations are essential to sort out the patient who should receive this treatment, who should not receive this treatment. And uh, that makes patient happy, and also our medical costs will be reduced. So to, for the virus-associated cancers, we can definitely use the vaccines to reduce the incidence of the virus infection. But other type of cancer, it's a little bit difficult. Maybe early, early screening is the easiest way to cure cancer. Or alternatively, after the surgical treatment, we can provide a vaccine based on the genomic profiling. And if we can provide a very personalized vaccination to all the cancer patients, we may be able to reduce the risk of relapse.